Alrighty guys, welcome back to training this week. Really pumped for this session. Uh, we, we are gonna be changing just one factor. Um, this was due to a change in, uh, in, in my training schedule. Uh, today's session is not gonna include pulls, but presses. Uh, so heavy presses, still medium squats. Uh, today we have 15 heavy presses and nine medium squats. Um, those heavy presses should be performed with roughly your 5RM for the press. So whatever weight would be difficult to press five times. Uh, the heavy squats should be for a weight that would be difficult to do eight times. And then we'll be working slightly less than, than five and eight. Um, for the press, I'll be doing barbell military presses today. Um, you can do kettlebell presses. You could do push-ups. Uh, those are all going to be acceptable variations as long as whatever variation you use is relative, relatively difficult uh, for, for five reps. Uh, I'll be using the goblet squat for the squat. Same thing, whatever variation you use should be difficult for uh, eight reps, even though we'll be working slightly less. So should uh, overall be a, a pretty quick session pretty efficient session. So um, I still have my last warm up weight on here. So I'm going to get that to my heavy working weight, um, which is going to be pretty heavy actually. We'll see how it goes. And then uh, we're going to jump right in. So just a reminder, if you haven't already gotten warmed up, take 10 minutes, uh, pause this video, take 10 minutes, and go get warmed up so that you're not jumping right into the working weights uh, with me here. So um, this will probably be like five sets of three on average. We'll go somewhere between two and four. Squats, we're gonna go for uh, I think four and five, which will give us nine for the day uh, in a really efficient manner. So uh, let's begin with the press. Again, I'll be pressing barbells. So I'm going to be a little bit uh, turned away from you guys here. So let's begin. I'm going to put my mic down low just to make sure I don't crush it with the bar here. And uh, hopefully I don't fail this press since this is pretty heavy for me. <laughs> this will be a set of two on this first one. Here we go. All right, fairly solid. <clears throat> Let's give that about a minute. So at the three minute mark, and we'll get our squat set. And let me just double check our numbers for today, although I'm pretty sure they're correct. Let's see, uh, 15 presses and nine medium squats. And now get back to my camera. There we go, awesome. Alrighty, so may, I don't know, maybe 20 more seconds or so, and then we'll get our first set on the squat. We'll do a, a lot of repositioning of the mic today, I think. All right, here we go. So this will be four squats with your 8RM weight. So should be a weight that's difficult for eight reps. We're going to be doing four. All right, here we go. Goodness. <laughs> All right, a couple minutes. Uh, 
maybe two minutes and then we'll get the next press. So that's like 530. Gives us roughly four minutes of rest. So I think if I can, I'm going to try to do sets of two, four, three, two, four. Um, let's see that six, 12 plus three is 15. So that gets us there uh, in five sets. So an average of three reps per set. Uh, so that's perfect. Now we'll see how that four rep set goes uh, in about one minute here. That's going to be pretty heavy, but worth a try. I don't, uh, I don't work with heavy barbell pressing very often. I do a lot of medium barbell pressing. So this is a, a good challenge for me. About 40 seconds. Again, you could be doing push-ups. Uh, if you're trying to change the difficulty of the push-up, let's say you can't do the push-up on the floor. You need a small box or an ottoman or something to start raising it up. You could sometimes do it on the edge of your couch uh, since that's about 16, 12 to 16 inches off the ground. Sometimes a little higher. Um, or, you know, if that's still not enough, you could do it on a table uh, or against the wall. Now, if you can do five push-ups on the floor and it's really easy, then you need to elevate your feet to make it more difficult. So here we go. Next set on the press. Again, this will be an attempt at four reps. Big set here. That one's pretty hard. <laughs> All right, next set. Uh, we'll go at 11.30 on the press. Squat set, maybe around 8.30. So a two minute break before squat. And that'll be our final squat set of the day. Now, I'm doing goblet squats. I'm mostly doing it because it's easy. <laughs> uh, I just have one bell, I pick it up, squat it. Um, I think it's uh, roughly equivalent to 234 kilo. So um, now you could do anything, right? You could take the structure of the session today, 15 heavy presses, nine medium squats. You could do barbell pressing for both. You don't even have to follow the video necessarily. Just take the numbers and go do that session. Um, so you could do barbell squats. You could do uh, double kettlebell squat, whatever you want for me. I love the goblet squat, the heavy goblet squat conjugation. Um, again, it's very time efficient. It's very simple and straightforward. So um, don't, don't focus on the exercises that I'm doing. Focus on the volume. So how many reps are you doing today? And the intensity, how many reps at what percentage of one rep max uh, or, or what excuse me, what load. So those factors are much more important than the exercise itself. Uh, and the sooner you can get out of that exercise mindset and into the stimulus mindset, uh, the more open your training world will become. And you'll start to realize that it doesn't really matter, depending on your goal, it doesn't really matter what movement you do it matters how difficult the stimulus is.
So, right on time. This will be a five rep set. Okay. All right, there you go. Done with that. All righty. I got about 15 minutes more with you guys than I have to go. So hopefully we get this done. I think I said 11.30. So about two minutes until the press. The next press will be a set of three. It's crazy. Uh, today's a relatively cool day here, not, not really hot at all, but the garage is still 75 degrees, which at least in my experience is still significantly warmer than most gyms, which keep their temperature uh, at 68 degrees. So it's just, it's just funny, I guess, to me, how different training in your garage can be. Uh, and man, when it gets cold and it's under 50 degrees in here, that is some hard training. Build your character real quick. Try getting motivated for that session. 45 seconds. Next set will be three. Uh, when you're overhead pressing, this is just a small tip, try to find the position in the start, that, especially with kettlebells, that gives you a vertical forearm orientation. So your knuckles over your wrist, your wrist over your elbow. What that means is that instead of being in here and trying to press this way, which will suck every time, you'll never be able to do it with heavy weight, you're already in the position where the body is oriented towards moving upright. Um, so you don't have to overcome any leverage that is present in the starting position. Similar with a barbell. With a barbell, you can get away with a little more angle. Um, but when you're pressing, you don't want to be here uh, because your hands are too close together. When you hit this sort of sticking point of the, of the barbell press, you want those forearms to be close to vertical as well. So here we go. For me, that has been a, a really tough thing to work on, practicing getting my grip much wider on the bar. It may not even be wide enough. Here we go. This is a set of three. minutes uh, take four minutes so 1640 since it's just a set of two Let's see here so take a couple minute break and we'll be back with the press 1640.
right, so just over two minutes to go. Let's get situated here. Next set is uh, two, so should be a layup. As long as you get your tension right, your position right, your technique right. If you get it wrong, you could totally fail to lift. Happens sometimes, uh, especially when you're, you're not setting up right and things like that. So still got some time. Maybe we'll go a little early, right? Maybe like at the 16 minute mark. Presses. Definitely full rest on the next one. Uh, if you're barbell pressing, <laughs> you may sometimes find that uh, you get very, very dizzy. My understanding of it is that the pressure from taking the breath and then the load of the weight on the collarbone occludes the carotid artery. Uh, remo not removing, but limiting oxygen supply to the brain, making you feel like you might pass out. So just be careful with that, with barbell pressing. Uh, it can be really sneaky like that. So I'm gonna wait the full five minutes. We'll go at like 21.30 because uh, basically after that, I gotta go. So I gotta get that set in, in one shot. There's other ways to do it called cluster sets. So you would press one rep, stick it in the rack, Wait about 10 seconds, pull it out, press one rep. Uh, a very effective way to complete a set that maybe you had to stop short on. So just some food for thought. Four minutes. Stay loose, stay relaxed. Hopefully to, to you guys that have been training with us, in these videos, it's become apparent just how relaxed the strength sessions are by comparison. Super, super laid back. Focusing on the lift, the technique, the tension. Three-ish minutes. I think one of the mistakes people make is they're always rushing. They're combining their strength training and their conditioning because they're focused. They're focused on, on expending energy, burning calories to lose weight instead of being focused on exerting more energy per rep or per movement. So, okay. Maybe you can go crazy with a 12 kilogram kettlebell for 20 minutes. Well, what if I can go crazy for 20 minutes with a 32 kilogram kettlebell? Who's going to burn more calories? The guy using the 32 or the lady using the 32 versus the 12. Um, you know, who's going to have more muscle mass? Probably the person using the larger bell. 
So people make the mistake of thinking that any activity or any exertion will elicit progress. Um, and that is true to some extent. You can use pretty light weights to build muscle and, and still to build strength. Um, but you may not be improving your power output over time if you're just focused on uh, calories and moving quickly and sweating a lot. All right, so separating out your focuses can be really helpful. I know today is a strength session, so I'm not worried about getting my heart rate up. In fact, I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to stay uh, as relaxed as possible. So keep that in mind. We got 90 seconds before our final set today, set of four. Drive this home. And then I, I definitely got to go. Got to get uh, Cami to his gym class. So this is a, a morning training session for me. Can't be late. So one minute. And then let's crush it. No question on this last set. Let's make it a perfect one. seconds. Hopefully I don't pass out. <laughs> it is really hard with the barbell press. Whew. All right, here we go. Set of four with your 5RM load. This is a big set. Take it seriously. Go through your setup. All right, here we go. Four reps. Really tough. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for your training today. Thanks for your hard work. Hope you enjoyed the presses versus the pulls. And uh, I'll see you next week. All right.